Okay, let's take a good look around this uh, 1985 Land Rover 90 um, diesel. Hard top, uh, refinished in silver, originally it was blue. Um, nice specification this one, it's been, uh, say, refurbished. It's also been fitted with a, a, a decent champion winch with remote control uh, on a proper winch bumper. Um, it's got an A-bar and it's also got some, um, some auxiliary lamps in it, although they look as if they've let a bit of water in one way or another, so uh, I don't know if they're still working. Um, nice set of modular wheels on it um, with a full set of Bridgestone Jeweler tyres. Uh, it's got checker plate on the <coughs> wing tops and on the modesty covers and behind the, the rear, um, uh, rear arches. It's also got checker plate along the, uh, the cross member. It's got tow pack on it, rear mounted spare wheel. And that's about it. Not been raised, it's sitting at the correct uh, factory height, should we say. Um, we'll just go around and point out some of the, uh, the other, the good bits and the bad bits on it. All looks really, really straight all round, actually. A couple of minor little dinks here and there, but no more than you'd expect, given the, uh, the fact that it is a landy. It doesn't really matter on these, but um, still nice to have it reasonably good. Um, so it has been refinished in silver. It did start life. Let's wait for that truck to go by. Um, it did start life blue, but it has been repainted uh, silver at some point. The paint on the bonnet isn't perfect. There's a few, well, quite a lot of sort of tiny chips. And it looks like something was in the paint on the bonnet when they painted it. Because um, a lot of micro blistering and sort of uh, almost um, little nicks in it here and there. Um, and the blue, the original blue is showing through up here. Uh, there's a, big a couple of big chips that have come off just around the back of the, uh, the bonnet just around here. Um, looking down the near side though, all looks uh, pretty straight and true down there. The usual sort of slightly wavy panels on a landy, but that's what you expect. But uh, apart from a couple of tiny dinks that I can spot, no more than that. Um, near side front wing is nice. There's a couple of longer scratches on the near side front uh, eyebrow just, uh, just down here. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. Um, all nice up here on the near side of the scuttle. It's a tiny bit of surface rust just beginning to, uh, to creep through just up here, but it's all very solid around here. Um, nice above the, uh, the flat parts and stuff like that. The screen's good, roof is fine. Um, a post is good, it is slightly dented there as quite often the, 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 uh, the wind catches the, um, the, passen well, the doors and, and uh, bend them into there, and that's exactly what's happened there. It's slightly dented the A post. Um, near side door is nice, there's a rather large paint run just there, obviously from where it was redone. Um, the tiniest bit of electrolytic reaction just on the base of the near side rear door just there, but apart from that it's very very clean there. Inside um, all looks to be pretty good, the seats have got covers on them because they have got one or two minor rips and tears in them, um, as you expect on the seams. Uh, it's got the easy clean interior, uh, which is all good, it's got an inclinometer in a um, by an inclinometer, that's what they call it on the dash, but uh, I wouldn't bother with that if I were you. Uh, those are all the controls down there, there are the, um, uh, the wired controls for the, the winch, so there are remote controls for it as well. Um, it's also got a luggage net in the back, wouldn't stop a great deal, but it is there. Um, but the interior is fine. <coughs> Near side rear wing, um, sort of minor depression dent just here, with a couple of uh, scratches in it. Um, but that's what you get with the landy. Near side rear wing is fine, apart from a crack in the paint just along here um, on the base of the, uh, the near side rear wing. So there's one or two just on seam edges and stuff, a little bit of blue showing through here and there. Um, around the tail end, it's all nice. There's a little bit of electrolytic reaction just on the base of the near side rear, base of the rear door just there. But aside from that, the rear's all good. Um, clean and tidy enough in the back been um, boarded with wood in the back. You may not be able to see it, it might be a bit too dark. But uh, yeah, boarded with wood in there. Um, so it's all fine around the tail end. Down the driver's side, all nice once again. No problems or issues there at all. Um, nothing, uh, no slight waviness as you expect, but no more than that. Offside rear wing is good. Hard top part is good. Driver's door is good apart from it's missing its trim strip just along here along the base of the um, base of the window. That seems to have gone walkabout, but you can get those easy enough. Uh, but driver's door, very good in from 
electrolytic reaction point of view. Once again, a slightly dented A-post just there, just where the, um, the door has caught it at some point in the past. Um, scuttle panel on the driver's side. Tiny bit of rust just begin to poke through just uh, there where my finger is, but it's still very, very solid and strong. Um, silver paint coming off in one or two areas. Um, including on the offside front wing, a little bit coming off there and a bit around the arch. But it's all, uh, it's all nice. It's a really smart looking landy actually. So it sits right um, because it's at the right height and everything. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's nice. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771-906-9353 or in the office on 0118-946-3352 or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk. For more information, end.